Hey guys, all right, I have a book today that I'm going to read you. It's called Swimming. What do you think swimming is going to be about? Look at the cover. Maybe it's got a little fish there. Maybe you got a little fish. And the book is by Leo Lioni. Leo Lioni. I hope I'm saying this name right. All right. All right, look at the picture here. What do you think? Swimming. You think he lives in the water? Yeah, he lives in the water. He looks like he lives with a lot of fish. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all, what color do you think they are? Red. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. Can you find Swimmy? He's the black fish in the middle of all the red fish. Oh, maybe Jay's gonna listen to this story too. One bad day, a tuna fish, <clears throat> Swift. Fierce and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little f red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. Oh no, like all of his family. Booty J wants to hear this story. All right, move out of the way, Booty J. Move out of the way so that we can read the story. Okay, he's going to sit there and watch. So all of the fish disappeared, gone, except for swimming. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared and lonely and very sad. He looks sad, doesn't he? He looks lonely because there's no other fish with him. He's all by himself. I would be lonely too. The sea was full of wonderful creatures. And as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. What do you think a Medusa is? What does it look like? It looks like a jellyfish, doesn't it? A lobster walked about like a water moving machine. So not only did he see the Medusa, but look, he saw a lobster. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. Uh oh, look at these big fish there. What do you think the invisible thread is? Hmm, I don't know. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. <gasps> Look at the seaweed. I love how he has the seaweed. Let me picture. You can see all different color seaweed too, can't you? Let's see what else he sees. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. Oh my goodness. Do you see? Do you see him swimming? Yep, he's right at the end of the tail of the big fish, or eel, the big eel. And sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Do you see them, the sea anemone? What do you think? Do they look like pink palm trees? <laughs> they do, don't they? Then hidden in a dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. What color do you think they are, the school of fish? That's right, they're red. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all up. But you can't just lie there, said swimming. We must think of something. He wanted to go play, didn't he? But the red fish, they were kind of scared. 
I'm afraid the big fish is going to eat them up. Let's see what happens. Swimmy thought, and he thought, and thought, then suddenly said, I have it. We're going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. Do you think it's going to work? I don't know. Let's see what happens. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. Look at that. They do look like a great big huge fish, don't they? And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. <laughs> Look, he makes a perfect eye, doesn't he? Swimmy thought of everything. He was such a smart fish, that Swimmy. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun. And what do you think is going to happen? Do you think they're going to find the big fish? I don't know. Let's turn the page and find out. And so they swam in the cool morning water and the midday sun. And guess what they did? They chased away the big fish. <laughs> Swimmy had a smart idea, didn't he? I hope you enjoyed that book, Swimmy. And I hope to see you soon. Love you guys.